Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with day two match two You know the match for who qualifies to worlds versus Eclipse are now Eclipse are aren't very big name players They have Mebius, Gugu and OPE But they were a pretty dangerous team all year and at LCQ as well so this was bound to be a banger and I can't wait to show you guys what happened even though you know, maybe I mean no spoilers, but let's get into it. So going into game number one here My team has max jackie and gail and the other team has sandy chester mid and buster now this is a very weird set because The brawlers are just pretty interesting. I mean, there's a lot of brawlers that counter some things but don't counter other things like, let's take my brawler, for example, Jackie. I do really good into Buster, but not so good into Sandy and Chester. Max is pretty good into Sandy, but not so good into Chester and Buster. Gail, kind of good into Sandy, but not so good into Buster. Like, there's, you know, there's just a lot of weird matchups this game. So, um, it's a pretty interesting one for sure. I'm starting off this game one okay, but we don't have the most positioning at the moment. I got my hypercharge and it's a pretty even game. It's a little bit tough for Drage to pick up gems because Chester does so much damage at so far range. Um, I waste my hypercharge over there. Angel Boy jumps out as well. And it's just like my team isn't playing very synergized at the moment. We do get a kill over there though. And then I get a speed. I pull in OPE. We're able to get a kill over there. So now we have positioning and I'm able to get a hit as well. Angel Boy gets a super. So now we're actually looking kind of decent. I mean, it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Drage has hypercharge. Gugu is wiggling really well over there. He uses his last stun and I go up. I waste the speed and I die. Now we have two hypercharges at our disposal. Um, and Gugu doesn't have any more sandy sleeps, which is pretty nice. Now the issue is they have really good mid control and I waste my super there. So we're just like not moving up the map. We're just not really doing anything at all. And we have no idea where this buster is. Angel Boy does find the Buster, but unfortunately, he does waste his Hypercharge Gale Super. And then Sandy gets Hypercharge Sandy Super, and unfortunately, that results in Drage dying over there. They have nine gems at the moment. Angel Boy trying to do his thing over there on the Buster. We tie up the game. He gets the kill. Drage pops Hypercharge, and I get the kill, I think, on Gugu as well. I pick up some gems, even though I don't know if I should have. Angel Boy gets a gem as well. But the issue with me picking up gems is I can't go aggressive. So it's kind of like this like weird thing where we're just kind of screwed at this point. I move forward to try and make a play. I get one kill. And then unfortunately, Angel Boy misses his blow onto the Sandy. And I think we could reset here. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think so. Maybe not. I think we do reset here. But it's like a very, very messy game at this point. We do get the kill, but then, or the gem, but then Angel Boy dies. And honestly, this is the first time I've watched this game back. This was a really messy game that we probably should have won. This was some pretty bad play on our end. A lot of wasted, like, utility and stuff. And in a very, very intense game one, they are going to take the win. Going into game number two, they decide to double up the left side. So I kind of get a free lane. I decide to go behind them. I get pulled right away by OPE. And the Sandy gets some hits. Buster gets some hits. I think... Chester maybe also hit me one time. So immediate positioning for them. They played that really well. There are some brawlers that don't have a lot of range. Jackie being one of them. Where you can just kind of ignore that brawler. And, you know, it's forced to run into you basically. I get two hits on the left. And then also, or two hits on the right and one on the left. Angel Boy finishes up the kill on the left. Or gets the kill. I don't know about finishes up. And so things are looking kind of good. I waste my speed over there. And then I got kind of close to Buster. But then our Gale... Angel Boy pushed them away. Drage kind of walks blindly into the Sandy Super and dies. And like game two, game one was played really bad by us. And we almost won. And it looks like game two is just, is just kind of a panic. I mean, I'm just running in a straight line and dying. Like it's, this is just not a very good looking game at all. Angel Boy is able to get a kill on the Buster or almost get a kill. Drage kills Gugu. And then all of a sudden we have like triple hypercharge running at them. So we could actually win this game. Angel Boy sets up a jump pad and he goes for the buster i don't really understand why he went for the buster there like i don't know this set was just not good by us this set was kind of just like a disaster class both in the draft and gameplay wise and ecp take the first set pretty cleanly and win one nothing so going into set number two we kind of changed up our draft strategy i mean gail was the best brawler on a lot of the maps and they left it open game one we took it and kind of got pranked with the draft a little bit 
Um, so then they left it open again, set number two. But I said, let's relax a little bit. Because um, as you guys can see, Larry is banned. So that means Barley is by far the best thrower. And I also knew that this team never takes Nita. We saw it in their stats. So my idea was we can get Nita in the 4-5. So let's first pick Barley. Let's get Nita and make a really nicely well-rounded comp. And that's what we did. We have two really good anti-tanks and a thrower. And this is a really good comp. Um, I think they could have went maybe Dinah into us, which definitely would have like pooped on us a little bit, but they didn't. I make a pretty good play over there, kind of turn, you know, nothing into something. And at this point, we're just defending. So we have a one nothing lead. We scored really early and OPE is just running in, going for Drage over and over. He's hitting a lot of nice shots. Drage actually kind of walked into that one over there. And I'm just trying to defend. The good part about this game is that I counter them and countering other people are fun. So I have like three really nice matchups and I'm I'm just like trying to have fun. Like I'm not having fun because I'm on stage, but I'm just, I'm like, I know I'm not getting matchups like this anymore. So I'm just doing my thing. I'm trying to hard carry as best as I can. I'm just telling Drage, like, be careful. Like just stay patient, be careful because they're just trying to go for you because they can't do anything to me or Angel Boy who are on Surge and Nita. And so that's that's just what we're doing. Good shield over there by Gugu because he gets a couple hits onto me. But like, there's just nothing they could do to our comp. Like, we are well planted. You know, if Gugu wants to pull me, fine. I'll just jump and run away. Like, it's not a big deal. Um, OPE's trying to go in and make something happen, but he can't. Uh, same thing with Gale, trying to go in, make something happen. He finally gets his like first super of the game, but he doesn't want to waste it on nothing, so he just saves it. And Dre just hypercharged, which means they can't really push into us. We got a bear. We got, you know, a level three surge with a jump. Like, these guys are just cooked. So, uh, maybe just tries to make a play there. Decently well-timed, but there's just nothing you could do. So, that's a pretty easy game for us. one nothing in Brawl Ball. Easy game in the bag. Now, going into game number two. Again, same game plan. I'm telling Drage, like, the only way we lose is that Lily going on to you. So, just be really careful. Um, try and stay out of the line of fire and just do your thing because you clap the other two. And right here, we're taking it slowly. We know we have comps, so we're not going to rush anything. We're just going to chill. I'm not going to waste my level. I'm not going to waste my jump. I was waiting very patiently to see if OPE jumped. He didn't. So then I used my super to get my level. Angel Boy just sitting behind the wall doing his thing. Uh, really good peek over there. And you guys can see OPE is only going for Drage, but Drage is doing an incredible job of just holding his own, doing his thing. I go up aggro because we have a slow on the ground. Drage messes up that pass. Drage, is, Drage messes up a good amount of passes. We noticed that in the scrims. I mean, he's doing a great job, though. It's just, you know, that pass would have been kind of nice. But it, like, really doesn't matter because we have such good control over them. And even though we could have probably scored there, again, we're not rushing it. We're just going to let Drage carry. We're going to let Drage do his thing. He's using his super. You guys can see OPE also has his. So we're trying to defend really well. I get the kill on Gugu. Um... Angel Boy almost dies, but we get the kill. And again, they're just telling me, don't feed Gale. Don't feed Gale. So I'm like, all right, I guess I won't feed Gale. So I go back. He got a couple shots off on me, but not the worst. Drage is using his hypercharge. He gets a lot of good value there. They go for a nice little play, but again, nothing. Drage is absolutely like going crazy on this good matchup. Like, I know it's a good matchup, but a good matchup can throw. And Drage is not throwing. Like, Drage is really doing his thing really well. Um, Angel Boy is able to get a super. OPE tries to super me. And he actually trades, which isn't so bad. But that's like the best thing you can do in that situation is trade. And, you know, their Gale is trying to defend this. But that's game over. Even in sets 1-1 one, one, and beautiful. It's a best of three now. So going into the next set, we have a classic North American comp. Even though we aren't a North American team. We have Bell. Um, we have Bell. 8-bit and thrower which is really good like i think we have a really great comp here um unfortunately drage dies kind of fast and then gugu's like playing kind of weird here so i just move up and i try and three tap him i miss the third shot he does waste the curve though and i get the kill and then at that point i'm kind of feeling myself because obviously piper counters bell but i walked up to a piper that has positioning and three tapped him so that kind of gave me some good confidence that you know like like I'm on stage and I feel really good on stage and I'm like, okay, I got this. I can beat these guys. You know, we could do this. Um, and it's one game at a time. So we're just, I'm setting up some traps. I got three traps down. We're trying to play this like nice and passive because they have to push into us. And I'm just trying to stay on the Piper because I know I can lane this guy, even though he counters me. Um, now we're just holding our own, doing our thing, trying to like wait for this eight bit turret. We finally get it. 
Angel Boy asks if he should have thrown it behind the back wall. I say, nah, just put it behind our aggro wall because there's no way they push into us. So we throw it down, but it's honestly like we didn't prioritize body blocking it at all. Like we have so much HP and we just fully let Goo Goo the Piper just come up and two tap. So that was like pretty bad on our end. And then Angel Boy goes down there and dies. So, I mean, a lot of mistakes here to start this first game. It's not looking too good, but they did have to use a lot of utility to come and kill us. So, at the very least, they they have no curves. They have no max dashes and no meg hyperchart or no meg uh, gadgets either. And I'm hitting a lot of shots here. A lot of bounces are going. I'm telling Drage here, focus max, focus max. And now max pops hypercharge for that movement speed buff but eventually me and drage just get bored and we just walk in a straight line and we just start auto aiming him we get the kill and we win by blue star so now it's one nothing for us and that felt really good for me because i was like okay like i kind of like no i wouldn't say carried but i hit a nice three tap and for me at least it gave me a lot of confidence that i just need one more like i just need one more good game and i could be up to one I'm the only dude wearing shorts, by the way, at all these events. I don't know why I'm wearing shorts, but I am. We get some good tabs on Mebius there, but he does get the blue star. And when you're playing an 8-bit comp, it's really important that you have the lead so you can sit back and do your thing rather than let, you know, or push into the other team because that's when it gets really hard. So we have them pretty pushed back here. I think we could move up and get some really good positioning, which is what we're doing. Dre is hitting a lot of really good shots there, and I think he's won off a of super already. So... The positioning is really good. We are forced to move back, not because anyone hit shots, but just because we were, you know, scared of the damage that the Piper or Max or Meg can do. And we have a really good start, actually. Like, I can't complain about the start whatsoever. We have them push back. They put the Meg on me, I think, because I'm, like, the scariest lane for them. So they're just trying to, like, tie that Meg lane. And I have it marked. I'm tapping up the Meg as best as I can, but not really too much I could do. That was a bad super. Like, that super could have helped us get a lot of really good positioning. And it was, like, it just got put down in two tap. No gadget, no nothing. So that was, like, a really not-so-great Larry super. Gugu uses his uh, curve after he gets a tap, but he's not going to be able to get a kill. And at this point, I'm like, yo, we got a lot of time. Like, let's just chill. Let's reset. Let's do our thing. But we had to really push back before, and we were close to super. Now we're not really in the same situation. So I get a couple of taps over there. I'm able to get the Meg to one, but again, like we put our turret down and it's in a decent spot, but we just totally let uh, Gugu go up and break it and just like no fight for that turret whatsoever. And unfortunately, Angel Boy goes down. I get Mebius to one. I'm trying to finish the kill, but I just can't do it. And then I get one tapped by Gugu, you know, who was further back in the map. And that's going to be this game right there. So again, like very similar to the gem grab game. In game number one, I felt like the game was kind of in our hands the entire time where we just had to make correct plays to win the game. And unfortunately, we didn't. And this is like genuinely my first time watching this game back. Like I have not, I've watched the LG game back before. I've not watched this back before. So I'm giving you guys like my total live, just everything feedback. So then in my head, you know, I didn't think my teammates played bad. I just didn't really know what happened. So I'm like, okay, I got to start carrying. I hit like four shots to start off this game and I just start going super aggro and in my head I'm like okay I gotta carry to win this game I gotta do my thing to win this game so I start like playing very aggressive um Angel Boy already gets his super which is really good so we can like push up pretty nicely here I have my super already I kind of waste it but I'm, I'm I'm like tapping I don't know like I feel like we should put our turret down like right where Angel Boy is right now and just start moving up because that's like perfectly fine positioning but we're trying to get it up, I think, on that left wall. So it's a little bit higher up. Um, which is a perfectly fine strategy. So it gets put down. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to ego this Piper. I'm going to try and like two tap him. But he's pretty nicely just sitting in that bush. He's doing his thing. That's exactly what I would have done if I was Piper. So I mean, like, you know, credit to him. You know, respect to him. And he gets a two tap on me. It's definitely me being over ambitious, trying to push into a Piper. And then I'm trying to push into this Max. I, I believe in myself a little bit too much. And at this point, it's like I'm just throwing this game. Like we had good positioning. We had things set up. And now I'm just playing like I need to carry the game or we're going to lose. And that's not how you should ever play a game when you have other good teammates on your team. So again, I'm trying to go a little bit too aggro. I'm getting good shots onto this Meg at least. And we almost have him in Little Meg. 
We do get him in Little Meg over there. And now I'm trying to push the Piper with my Hyper Charge. It's like, what am I even doing, man? I'm 0-3 already. And, I mean, just like a brutal disaster class game three. Just horrible stuff. I don't know. This is just not a good game by me at all. I definitely, like, I wouldn't say overheated, but tried to do too much when I didn't have to. And that's what resulted in our loss for this game. So they're going to take the bounty set, and they're going to take the 2-1 set lead. So going into Heist, we got exactly what we wanted out of our draft. We got Cord first pick, and then a tank and a thrower that does damage. And that's exactly what we wanted. And, like, Drage was a little bit worried about playing the Dino on stage. Like, do you see what the... Like, this guy just went absolutely ballistic. He just got a double kill, and he's doing damage now. Like, when we were drafting... We, we did a scrim yesterday, and or the day before this game, and Drage was, like, shitting the bet on the Dino. Like, he played it so bad. But, like, me and Drage, we were tired. It was late. We were both playing bad. I was like, dude, forget the fact that it's a land, bro. Like, you got this. Don't be afraid. And he just showed up, and he went ballistic. Now, you guys can't see it, but on the top of the screen, I got a double kill, which gives my teammates a little bit of space to move up the map. And Drage is going to start shooting shots on the safe. Uh, he gets a stun, and he gets the kill there somehow, and... He almost hits that super. He was close. Unfortunately, he didn't. But, I mean, he's doing his thing. I have my super at this point. And I counter the Colette and the Barry. So, I go for the Colette. I only end up getting the Barry, though, unfortunately. So, this game is actually very losable right now. Because their Colette has hypercharge. So, Angel Boy just hypercharge hits the safe. Which isn't a bad idea. Not the best, though. And we're kind of feeding... The Colette a little bit. Like, the game is getting a little bit close in damage. But OPE makes a pretty poor play going for me. He dies, which gives me some space to move up. And then Drage finishes the safe. Or at least hits the safe. I finish the safe. And we were very close to losing that game. Because Colette had hypercharged super. But we were able to come back and get the win. So going into game number two. I grapple up the right side to try and force some aggression. But I see no one's following me. So I move a little bit closer. And I see that the Surge is on me, and the Surge just used his jump. So then I go for a kill on the Surge. I get the kill, and then I also start doing a ton of damage. I end up doing, I think, like 35%. So that's a perfect start for us. I mean, we can't ask for a better start than that. Besides last game where Drage got, like, a double kill, and we did, like, 40%. So at this point, I'm just trying to, like, kind of go up and do damage. I see the Surge is near me, so... Angel Boy goes in the realm. He gets me some vision, which allows me to super the surge and get the kill. And now you can see me and Drage are just doing crazy damage to the safe. Drage even stuns the safe just to show, like, yo, like, safe. You, uh, you know, he's just showing up the safe, I guess. And then Angel Boy gets a kill. He's on safe doing a crazy amount of work. He almost finishes it. He gets it to 299. But, you know, I have two grapples, so I use one. I, like, low-key missed the second one, but it doesn't matter. We get the kill, and that's set number four right there. 2-2 two, two, going on to set number five. So going into the next set, I'm going to skip more towards the end games for these so we don't have to wait for two minutes uh, for the smoke to come in each time. But this is a very interesting draft, and we made a crucial mistake in the draft that didn't cost us the game, but definitely costed us the draft. So we got first pick Barley with both Larry, Barry banned from them, and then Tick banned from us. So the only open thrower was Sprout, but we know that Barley is a lot better than Sprout. So we love the way that this draft started off. So we took Barley, which is like the best endgame brawler on this map. They end up getting Meg and Jean, which is like a very nasty 2-3, two very good brawlers. But we still have thrower advantage. So we go Pearl and Angelo. Now, that's not the worst draft in the world, but the issue is with this draft is that Barley is really good for endgame, and Angelo is really good for the start of games to get, like, kills and stuff. So, I believe our draft was a little bit silly in this set because we took two endgame brawlers and then took a brawler that's good in mid game, and I'm going to explain that as the set continues, but... Basically, our goal is just to, like, sit in the very back. You guys can see I went up for, like, a little spray there. Just because so, I had, I think, three gadgets at that time. So, I was like, or maybe it was even four. So, I was like, okay, maybe I can go for, like, a cheeky kill. And then Angel Boy goes with the Pierce Angelo. Um, I try and make a play, but unfortunately, no hits. And, you know, you guys can see we're not even giving Gene a little hit. Like, we're really waiting for the very, very end. Because we're going to pop our Barley Super. We're going to pop our Barley Heels. And that's that's just it. That's our game plan. Wait to the end and do that. But the issue is if we're waiting to the end to do that, we shouldn't really have 
and Angelo on our team because the Angelo doesn't provide much value at the end. You have to like really load up one shot to do 4,000 damage, but like look at the brawlers on the other team. You know, 4,000 damage isn't really isn't really changing anything. So Drage is going with his Barley Super. We get blocked off over there by the wall, of course. And Angel Boy does get a heal over there. And now he has like double healing. So he's doing good work. I get pulled. Angel Boy gets the kill. Drage gets the kill. Angel Boy is doing like insane work right now. So I know what I said is kind of like doesn't really make too much sense right now. But he got Barley healed. He had Angelo Super to get healing. So he was kind of just invincible sitting in this like orb of poison around three people that couldn't hit him. So he made some really good plays there. Drage with really good heals there. And now it's kind of like an even game. Like Gene just wasted his pull. And now it's round number three. So whoever wins this round wins. Drage still has his super, I mean his gadget, sorry. And, you know, I'm just loading up. I'm waiting for the end. It's kind of unfortunate that I was playing Pearl and just waiting for the end. But I don't really have an issue with it. OPE almost overextended there. And I think if he got hit by one cookie, he would have died. But now this Meg is pushing Angel Boy really hard. So I'm deciding to go on the Meg because... You know, I, I, we picked my brawler for the Meg. Now, Drage uses, uses his super, and I think he used that way too early because we needed that for endgame. Now, he did clear out mid at least, but, like, we really needed that super for endgame. He doesn't have any heals. He doesn't have any super. So now, you know, the good part about Barley is not necessarily the good part anymore. So we're trying to push up before the Sprout Wall comes in, but this Meg just has such a good angle on me that there's not too much I could do. I almost get it into Little Meg, but I don't. Gugu hits the pole, and just brutal. They take the third round, which was very winnable for us, and they take the one nothing lead in knockout. I skipped forward a little bit to get to the end game here, but you guys can see the Gene pushed up a little bit too hard. Angel Boy can see him because he's being burnt right now, and he gets a very nice, beautiful snipe to give us the you know one kill advantage. Drage is doing a good job on that thrower lane, and we get the Meg into Little Mech. So I mean. Really well played first round. It didn't have really too much to do with us and more to do with their gene. Kind of just walking up a little bit too high. Getting a little bit too confident. Trying to get that super. And then him just getting hit by my gadget and then hit by Angel Boy's gadget. So really nice play between both of us. And now, you know, he's definitely going to sit in the back. And now we're going to sit in the back. And it's going to be an end game round. So after about a minute of fast forwarding, no one's really hit any bullets. Here we are. Drage uses his super. Angel Boy gets a really nice pierce. Drage gets pulled. He almost stays alive there, but he's not able to. And now I know that Gugu's over there in the smoke. We're able to get one kill. Angel Boy is able to get a really nice pierce. And then we get the win. Now, the rounds where Angel Boy has really good end games, we do tend to win. So we were like kind of figuring out what we have to do to win is we need Angel Boy's Angelo to have a super and then Drage to have a heal and kind of combine that because it's the only way we can win really. So that's our game plan here. So now that the smoke is almost in and we've gone into the end game portion, I have my gadget cooked up. We're going for a pinch. Unfortunately, I don't get a hit. And Gene, or sorry, not Gene, Angel Boy does go down. Now, like, there's just nothing we could really do to that Meg on that left side. There's just really nothing we could do to that Meg, which is really unfortunate. Um, because, you know, we need to do something to that Meg to win. Skipping forward to the end game, everyone's poking, everyone's doing their thing. We know Gene has pull, so we're in a really scary predicament right here where we think we might actually lose. Drage got, gets his super off as the smoke is coming in, and that's, like, kind of forcing Gugu to walk to the left. And then he kind of gets caught. I use one of my gadgets, and he gets low, and he's just going to die. He's going to be kind of useless to the round. Angel Boy dies, even though he has a super and heals, which sucks. I get a good gadget off. So does Drage, and we end up winning the round. But Drage used all of his heals over there. So we have no heal. We have a Barley super, and all we have is one end game, double match point, double round point, double game point for who goes to world. Now, honestly, you guys might think we're nervous in this point. I can't speak for everyone, but at least for myself, I'm like so locked into the game and how perfect everything has to be because I know we're just screwed regardless unless things are played perfect that I'm trying to like play this to absolute perfection. Now, we get a nice pierce. We get a decent barley super over there to push them back. I get pulled. I'm not able to get my knockback off. Drage goes down and unfortunately, they take the win. Now, we were very close and we could have won. And, you know, big congratulations to the other team. I think we picked the wrong brawler in Angelo where we could have went Buster maybe or something for Endgame. 
That would have been a lot better. That would have been a lot better. But we didn't, and it's a 3-2 loss, and that's just how things go. That's just how things go sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This time we lost. And it sucks because it was my second time losing this year. But I tried my best, and I did my best, and... I'm like really proud of the effort and what I was able to put in. This isn't my team. These are just two people that I know. And I flew over from Canada to Germany with like two weeks notice after quitting the game for a month. We almost qualified for Worlds beating ECP, who was a good team, and LG, who we did beat, who's a good team, and qualified for Worlds. So, I mean, we did our best. We came a little bit short. We didn't play our best. We didn't draft our best. But Drage and Angel Boy are both fantastic players both insane players and i hope they have incredible years next year and as for myself i mean even though we didn't make worlds this land gave me a lot of confidence that you know once i get to that land setting i'm still that guy you know i'm still good enough to win and we just need things to go right so i'm locked in for next year i appreciate you guys watching and supporting but that's going to be it for today that was an incredible match probably one of my best matches this year that I participated in. I know I lost, which sucks, but it was still a great match. So GG's to the opponents, GG's to my teammates, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm not sure when, but soon. And until then, peace.